showing some maturity, but looking, I need a little more water there, looking relatively uh, like it's on the developing side, not on the mature side. In other words, darkly colored, darkly colored wine goes out to a um, uh, uh, not as dark ruby as the center is, but almost out to a kind of a, a medium ruby with a pinkish rim, just a bare touch of tan to it. And there is, in fact, yeah, some color in the legs. Not a ton, but there's some. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Um, uh, young oak, moderate plus intensity, smells good. Kind of a cedary vanilla note, plenty of oak to this thing, but the fruit is dark fruit, dark black fruits, black cherry, blackberry, you know, black plum, touch of blueberry, plenty of spice. There is an overripe uh, um, ethyl acetate kind of uh, ink pot meets uh, nail polish note hiding in there somewhere. Interesting. Um, I'm going to say that I get some um, some earth to this as well, but the kind of earth is um, rock dust. Uh, this is getting riper as it sits in the nose. More dried fruits. Very interesting wine. Black cherry skins, black plum skins. Herbs, probably some dried and fresh herbs, but it's not a big factor. This seems to be oak, earth, and fruit, you know, which is not helping me identify it at all, but I, clearly I, I like the nose. And it uh, looks extracted from the color and from this nose. What I do get out of the nose is just a great deal of, of uh, oak. Um, so at this juncture, I'm leaning more towards the new world than the old world, but who knows? Bright blueberry notes, blueberry paste, blueberry jam, but not jammy. Hmm. Big black fruits, black cherry, blackberry, not all the way to cassis, not all the way to boysenberry, blueberry you know, skins, juice, jelly kind of stuff hiding around there. Lots of spice. Tannins get a little dusty, a little bitter, a little, a little harsh uh, there near the end. Um, I'm getting a, a um, just a lot of new oak spices, um, plenty of vanilla, plenty of uh, clove, and all spice. Moderate plus tannins, a little bitter gritty. Um, Earth is not pronounced enough for me to talk about old world wine here, although I'm, I'm very torn. Um, the way it finishes is so oaky and, and there's enough uh, fruit skins that I'm really torn. I, I, I will admit it that I'm struggling with this one a little bit. Um, but I think the preponderance is on oak and fruit. So. Moderate plus tannins to high tannins. Moderate plus alcohols in the 14 range, a little higher. Um, ripe fruit to overripe fruit. Acids are moderate minus. But there, yeah, this is a this is a funny little animal. I don't know what I'm dealing with here. Uh, we will find out, obviously. Um, Age showing like an 06, 07, something of that nature, and um, I think it's the 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 um, the earth is. Um, boy, I'm torn on this one. I'm going to end up with California, even though um, I, I distinctly get some notes that that uh, make me believe I'm I'm screwing up on this one because there's enough earth here um, that I'm dealing with 06, you know, California Cab, something like that, uh, but it it could be Zinfandel for crying out loud because the alcohols, the alcohols seem to be going up. So I'm left with high alcohol, uh, bitter, dusty tannins, um, acids are medium plus. So uh, as I say, I'm, I'm stuck with uh, a uh, Cab uh, California and, and uh, what I got here, Cab California 2005 Napa Valley. 
Um, there seemed to be some earthiness there. I mean, they ended up in the right place, but uh, I'd be very curious where, where these uh, vines are planted because there's something like earthiness to this that, uh, that intrigues me. I'll have to learn more about this one because I think it's pretty good. Um, I don't think it's great. I think it's a little bit short. Um, but I think it's a, you know, a, an attractive wine and, and in good condition and, and interesting, you know, almost complex.